And therefore, when we know who we are, whenever God is going to take us, whenever God is going to send you, even in future, you will know, yes, this is who I am, and this is how I ought to start for my God. Anywhere I shall be, and I will stand for Him because I know myself. We are going to ask, to ask ourselves, who is a youth? That is the number one question. Then, why should I serve God when I'm young? So we have who, we have why, and then how can I serve God when I'm young? And we start with the word who. Who is a youth? I'm trying to ask each one of us, who, who, who is a youth? How can you describe a youth? Maybe we can take uh, in years, meaka yule ako nai, begini ametoka ako 12 years, ametoka amefika 18 years, and probably from there, from 18, when they are to the five, to the kule, to the kule, to the kule, they are grouped as, uh, as youth, but we can describe the youth in whatever manner. But at least we know the category of the people we are talking about. Na kama hawa tuko hapa ni naona, we are not below 12, we are not below 15. I want to imagine we are from 18 and when they But I want, there was an interesting description of the young, the young people I normally describe them. I see they are members of human race who are too old to be children and too inexperienced to be adults. So wakabu hapo katikati. And you find that many of them, they have the stature of men, but the attitude of boys. You know I deal with them, so unawana wakina unawana wakini ni mkwana saikina na wakali yao hiki. So wakini ni mkwana the stature is big, lakini kwa sababu bado they in the process of growth, the attitude kiangalia bado inaendelea kukoma. And I remember like now when we were young, I was born together with a boy, I have two boys ahead of me. Na kuna na mimi sasa kuko hengi. As they were playing out there, na wako na mimi ni kubo. And the mom would come out, pengine the kind of game they are playing there. Kwa saa mwa kubo, wanapiga boli, ama wanapokuwa matope, ama mami anawaluliza. Sasa hini, they put it in Kikui because we used to put it in Kikui. They will be with the Muina Torbona of Kyoga Kimene. Muina Kimene, Nano Tokyo, Bani Kimene, Kyoga, Kyoga Kimene, no, and I said, Nini Hamuna Kimi, Nakyoga Kimene, you know. I don't know what I would put, how I would put it. The body is big, but they are the, the, the killing the Kidogo, Pasapapu, in the game, when I check up, I had a man in a so that is why I was describing you look at the girls like are like cats. You find that they have bodies of women, but the idea are those for girls. But one should get to understand the young people and able to mold that we mold the mind, we mold their attitude and direct it in the right place. Ah, they are wonderful people. At times, you find that uh, are you like a seed that is that is uh, that has so much potential, it's loaded with potential. It only needs to be put in the proper fertile soil, and then you find that uh, when it's planted in fertile soil, the structure within it it just explodes. It, it, it is just wonderful. They are loaded with potential, but if this potential is put in the wrong direction or in the wrong place. That is why you find we have a lot of problems in the society. But when you come to church, and then they come and uh, embrace, embrace the, the direction that you have given before God, and then you find that you explode and become great men and women, even in the society. And you find that the youth, they are very important and vital component of the church. They are very important and very vital. So whenever I'm called to find a church that takes time, they use their money to organize youth conferences. It excites my heart because I know that that church has a future. The young people of the youth, they are the future of the church and they are the future of any nation. Uh, the future of any church is not in buildings, it is not in good cameras, it is not in it is not even in, in good structures, but it uh, you tell the future of a church by the youth, the young people that are in that church. So you find that most most are churches, uh, the 
and it's where they show the young people. They just come because uh, maybe the parents are in that church. But after a short while, how I don't want to talk See, you know, I've tried to find out why, why does, are they not interested in remaining in the church? In the church. But I have come to know uh, that the future of any church it is in attracting and maintaining young people within its ranks. Now the maintaining is normally what is a challenge. But one thing I've realized is that any church that creates an environment such that when they come, they see Christ, they remain. They remain. Why? Because if they come and find Christ, maybe in the members, maybe in the way they are handled, maybe in the way they are thought about, and the way maybe they are directed, when I want to you, they remain. And another thing when they remain, they, they come and meet the only one who can bring a difference in their lives. These are young people. Sometimes they become, they become very, 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 very bored with the, uh, what do I call it? If things are just done the same way, they come and fight it the same thing, the same way. And probably when you try, you try to uh, suggest something in, in some churches, I think you have a church in Guinea, I think you have a church in before now where I am. And uh, where I am, I know they are embraced and I know they are built. Like you can put Mahani in the Quran. When you suggest, they suggest something. It's like the, the, the older people, in fear of losing what they know, they step on their way. And then they finish it. I was in, that is in the 90s, I remember, in one of the church I was. In the Fika Mahani, when these young people now felt a banner, they must have a change. The way things are done, and we are not going anywhere. And I remember one time I went to the church, to the church service. Ah, uh, Nikaia, that I was not very, very, very involved in the leadership, but I was here, here, here. there is an attack of war between the older people and the young people because they will they want things done. So we get a good When the older people start up to see amazing grace, the hey, they normally see the young people are sitting. But in my now and I'm, when I'm like, yeah, yeah, sir, you do, you do, you do, you do, and I was like, I'm not one. I wasn't even know what was happening. And they were waiting. How at Malika, you know, and it's beginning. And actually, it was a busy nature. So they the, the program. When I got your money, I was like, where is the problem here? The problem is how our are they are not understanding. It's time to change. And uh, I remember there was the next next Sunday in Walifuga Gate. But now. While the young man, they held their service out there, you know, we were dead. And we were like, apparently, we must pray, and the Holy Spirit must come in. And by the end of it, I thank God, because it was like a way. But you remember, it was in the 90s. Those young people didn't go anywhere. But it was, even the general assembly, it was spoken in that church, and they changed everything. Today, that church, Ukingi and Kama, the Pentecostal church, and it's a busy church. Today, they are old people. But they brought a will. So what am I saying? If you don't understand them, they can either move out or God can help them to maybe even bring a change. Therefore, they are loaded with potential and there is the way they see things in a different perspective. So if only you're given time, they are able to do that. So the youth, number two, they have a God-given dream and talent and you cannot suppress them. So if they are just allowed and guided, to be able to, uh, to and be encouraged and excited that they may be possibly be able to bring it out. Uh, they are often equipped with it. Number two, young people, they have passion and optimism. You cannot put off the, 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 the passion of working for God and doing it. And these are young people. We only need to encourage them. Even if, but one thing I want to say, even if we have the dreams, we have the we have the dreams, we have the talent, we are gifted, we need to sit on our authority so that we are able to come out 
Nimeona vijana wengi akishajua nime am tender am um, gifted in this I can sing well I can live before in prison watching I can even share what I can with others kumweka chini ya authority inaanza kuwa shida but I always tell young people if you want to go far sit under an authority na wale wanakaa chini ya an authority an authority ni wale wa kujua unaanza kuwa unajua mambo mengi sana but there is there the way you can change things when you still under that authority and you go far and you move either to your church or even an organization ah uh, so if we go back to the to the bible God prepared the people he used when we were there. Mungu anaanza kuandaa mkiwa akiwa ATM. So if you look at the life of Joseph. Mungu alimuta wengine Mungu alikuwa anawaita hata watujui. If you look at Joseph, he started seeing dreams. Hata hapo anaelewa. He was just I think 17. If you look at Genesis around at 7 and 9 there, you see Joseph when he was dreaming, he could go and say nimeona hii, nimeona hii. Haelewi is trying out to talk to him. If you look at Jeremiah, when God called him in Jeremiah chapter 1, alimuuliza mimi na mimi ni kijana tu. How can I go and talk to the nation? So this one shows us that when the right time is the right time for God to prepare us. If we look at Daniel, they were young men. He was also young and God started using him to interpret dreams. We look at David, Mungu alimuita akiwa kijana mdogo looking after the sheep and therefore we don't wait until we are 30 or we are till we are 40 at the time we think of how can we start god eh we will look at timothy look at timothy in the book of first timothy chapter 4 and 12 timothy was very young and god entrusted timothy to pastor and lead the church in ephesus when he was very young actually he was a teenager but you look Timothy, he sat under Paul. He sat under the authority and the leadership and the guidance of Paul. And what did Paul was telling Timothy? Can you read in the book of 1 Timothy 4:12? And if we have the Bible, we can now look at and see what what was Paul. What did Paul tell Timothy after ametembea na yeye ni kijana, ameona yale mambo yote amemfunza na kile anaweza. Akamwambia Hayatani some Don't let anyone look down on you but be an example to the believer in word in conduct in love in spirit in faith in purity Those five ways Paul knew if Timothy keeps those five ways he can influence any age he can influence any church he can influence any organization and he kept on reminding him that and Timothy was a very good student because he did that 